Welcome, I'm CJ Kanata, President and CEO of the Kanata Report, and today's topic is Inkjet as a Diversification Opportunity. With me today as a special guest is Andre Durbano of RISO, uh, a very key source for us. Andre, welcome. It's great to have you join us here today. It's nice to be here, CJ. Thank you so much for the invitation. Absolutely. Now, Andre, in a recent issue, you were quoted as saying, Inkjet is a very simple path to diversification. Can you elaborate on that? Absolutely. When you consider that the dealer network, a dealer already has the infrastructure in place, an infrastructure that is full of salespeople, technical people, support people to seek out print volume in an office, um, in a print environment. The inkjet opportunity is one that allows a dealer to use that exact same infrastructure so you don't have to go out and invest into this part of the diversification, but to use that same infrastructure to seek out incremental print volume for your service department. The print volume that a dealer will gather, uh, that a dealer will gain from uh, moving into the inkjet arena is, is millions and millions of copies per month. That is uh, millions of meter clicks per month, millions of ink sales uh, per month. And, and so they can use the exact same infrastructure simply by, you know, just a tweak. And rather than just focusing in on the toner-based applications, these are the ABCs, um, application-based copies. Look for those application-based copies. And just like that, they're selling Inkjet. Andre, what types of dealers do you find are embracing Inkjet? So good question, CJ. There really are two types of dealers. First, there are those that have a big fleet of toner devices out there in the field. Some of them are black and white, some of them are color. When those high-end inkjet devices come into play, if a customer has got to spend a million dollars, they really need to justify that type of expense. And they do that by wiping out their toner devices and buying the one high-end inkjet device. And so a lot of dealers, again, who have toner devices out there, those devices are at risk. Uh, of being wiped out by some of these larger inkjet units. And so we have dealers who look to Riso and say, we want to and we need to sell your product to kind of create a moat, create a, a, a protective shield around our fleet of toner devices. And so that when a customer says to us, gee, I'm thinking of inkjet, you can say, great, we'll put inkjet into your print shop so you have a perfect blend of our toner devices along with a good mix of Riso inkjet devices. Those are the ones uh, that, again, are looking to protect their base. And then you have the dealers that, is, that are looking to crack a competitive account, an account that's three years into a five-year lease. And you know the nice part about the inkjet device is, again, you're going in through the side door. It really has nothing to do with the units that you currently have. This is an opportunity for any customer to you know, bring in, generate new revenue, whether it's NCR, envelopes, uh, spot color printing to gravitate that monochrome print into uh, spot color inkjet that is profitable for them. And so these are the dealers that are looking to share this story to sell into that gap, okay? Um, if they can sell into the gap, there's some pretty good margin in there. So again, two types of dealers, those looking to protect their fleet of toner devices, and those looking to grow their business um, and, and grow their revenue and capture more meter clicks. Now, from there, if they manage to accomplish that, that flow of um, a print volume is going to generate an immense amount of profit on the meter clicks. Remember, the service on an inkjet device is minimal. There's no heat, very little parts breakdown, parts usage. So profitable on the servicing side of things. And then there are the ink sales. See, the business model here is not an all-in CPC. The customer is buying the ink separately. And there's a benefit to the customer, right? They're only paying for the amount of ink they're laying down. And, and there's it's a good protection uh, source of protection for the dealer. So the customer is not laying down, you know, 10 cents worth of ink and then paying for four. Um, so the dealer is protected. The jobs that customers are doing with Inkjet are super profitable in that format. There's a, 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 at least on resale devices, 
a nice amount of margin and profitability on those ink sales. I'd like to ask, um, can you explain why inkjet is an excellent entry point into production print? So oftentimes when dealers uh, get involved with the production arena, um, they are going up against the behemoths. They are going up against the big giant direct operations of the Canon Xeroxes, Ricos, KMs. And that could be very challenging because they put together a good um, value proposition and, and it could be challenging for a dealer. The investment they would have to make to compete in that arena is substantial. The thing with Inkjet, though, is you're going after print volume, but you're kind of doing it through the side door. It is not a, a heavily trafficked area. You're kind of on your own. There's maybe one, possibly two competitors. In fact, you really are competing against yourself. It is uh, your ability to find the jobs that would move from a black and white toner device and onto color inkjet. Once you find those applications, it, it's a simple sale. So you're not uh, investing in personnel to have to do this. You're not having to go up against uh, big giant enterprises that have been doing this for a long time. Um, and you're, you're very often, even from a budget perspective, the purchase of inkjet devices for school district print shops, university, municipal government, college, university, a lot of times they'll use a slightly different type of budget to justify this type of technology. Could be an envelope printing budget, right, for envelope solutions, um, or just flat out new technology budgets. In this case, it'd be an inkjet. So it's a safer, it's a, it's a, it's a shallow on-ramp for any dealer to get involved with inkjet. Simple, um, you don't have to overthink it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just look for a different type of application. Andre Durbano, everybody. Andre, thank you very much. We appreciate you sharing your perspective here with us today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Thank you.